The popular slasher series Hatchet is ripe with tales of controversy. Whether it's a standoff with the Motion Picture Association of America, or a sequel being pulled from theaters within hours of its release for refusing to censor the gore, there's one horrifying tale from Victor Crowley's legacy that was kept out of the public eye. It involves cinematographer Will Barrett, his underwear, and a very poor decision. In 2005, I filmed this uh, movie called Hatchet with my friend Adam Green. And we had a great cast, a great crew that were really fun. We shot it up in Santa Clarita, California, which is north of LA by a bit, so we decided it'd be better if we stayed up there. We were shooting nights because it was a horror movie, so it was always, we were always shooting nights. And we only got one day off per week, uh, just because the schedule was crazy. So when we had our one day off, it was important that we sort of stayed up all night, so we'd stay on that night schedule while we were filming. So we had, we had this, this one day off, night off. We decided we would just, we'd had to all stay up. So we all got together all in the same condo and uh, just kind of hung out. We were watching movies, we, were, we had some drinks, we were hanging out and uh, really fun. Somebody, somewhere around three or four in the morning had a brilliant idea to go to the hot tub. So we're all like, yeah, hell yeah. So we all, you know, gathered up our stuff. We ran out to the hot tub and, uh, and of course we get there and there's a big sign on the side of the thing that says closed at 10 p.m. That's my, that's my truck. I sat on my keys. <laughs> there. There's a big sign that says closed at 10 p.m. And uh, we're like, ah, fuck it. We jumped over the fence, we jumped in, took off all our clothes, most of them, and uh, just jumped into the pool and just started like singing and we were playing Marco Polo. Uh, we were playing Who'd You Rather or things like that. Uh, it got really out of hand, really fun. All of a sudden, boom, there's this bright light in our face. We're like, oh shit, oh shit. Turns out it's the property manager. He shows up, he's like, you kids get out of the pool. What the hell do you think you're doing here? We're gonna call the police. The second I hear call the police, I freaking lose it. I jump out of the pool, scream over the fence right next to the guy, dripping wet. I'm in my underwear, and we all just, just kind of scatter. We all just tear out of there. So I'm tearing down the, the you know, the uh, sidewalk, running across the sideways. I look over, my friend Adam's running right next to me. He looks over at me, I'm like, ah, oh, we're running, we're running, we're running. All of a sudden I'm like, fuck it, and I ditch to the left, just ran right away from him, and I just busted into my condo door and like slammed the door behind me. And I'm leaning against the door, I'm like, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, dripping wet. And uh, I catch my breath, and all of a sudden I'm looking around, and I'm like, wow, this is weird. Somebody uh, reorganized all the furniture in here. That's weird. And I looked over and I see this red couch in the living room, I'm like, oh shit. We don't have a red couch, shit! So I turn around and I run out the door. As soon as I open that door, I see the property manager running right at me. He's like, stop you asshole, stop you asshole. He's flashing his flashlight at me. I'm like, ah, he's like, that's my freaking house, shithead. I was just like, oh fuck. I turn and I tear out of there as fast as I can, run around the bend and actually landed in our condo garage where I already found all the crew members, all the cast members already huddled there. And we were just all huddled together in the garage, looking out the garage windows, just watching headlights go back and forth, back and forth, just waiting to get caught. I was horrified.